But for now, though, I want us to come back to our studio discussion. And I'd like to start with you, Amos Kimunya. Where, just before the break, mm. uh, just one, one second. You said that, um, you know, the reason why we need, uh, you know, another person who would take, who be replaced, who would replace uh, Chebukati in any circumstance, maybe he's sick or whatever. Uh, that's one of the reasons why you say you, you were really pushing for this uh, thing to go through. But really, you know, I never mentioned that this were not concerns before the August 8th election. Shouldn't we be concentrating on some of the, you know, real issues that really affected, uh, you know, and indeed uh, had this election nullified security features for the, all the forms and among other serious issues, just uh, not this thing to do with the chair? You see, when, you, when you're bringing an amendment, right, you don't want to bring an amendment today, then an amendment tomorrow, you might as well look at all the, comp the comprehensiveness of, mm. of the process. And I say the process begins with the voter registration. It ends with the announcement of the results, right? And the announcer of those results is the chairman. So when you're reviewing the whole of that process, you start from voter registration is an issue because there's no voter registration. The voting itself, nobody has raised issue with the, with the ballot. Okay. Yeah? So all the way to the, from the four A's. But... At that point, one of the issues that was identified is a weakness in some of the POs and ROs refusing to sign or falsifying the document. So we've already captured that and made it a criminal offense. If you don't sign or you, you falsify a document, you go to jail. Mm -hmm. So we've captured that. Okay? Then you move to the next level. The results have been announced. You know, we all agree. The Constitution says, the rulings, of the minor care and all that stated that the finality of the vote announced at the polling station mm. and at the constituency, right? Now, that being final, what is the next issue? Is how do you transmit that final results to the National Tiling Center? Mm -hmm. And you have the two options. Electronic, okay, which nobody has a problem with, and manually. Mm -hmm. Now, because our colleagues in NASA don't trust these computers, they talk of it's been hacked. They want us to open a server to see where the axe hacked the computer. As if you open it, you will see, you know, this is where it was hacked. You know, it's, it's not, it's, it's technology. They don't understand technology. So they are confusing everyone. So instead of confusing ourselves with all this technology we don't understand and confusing Majiko in the process, we're basically saying the results will be transmitted electronically. They will also be transmitted manually. Ideally, the two results should be the same at the National Tiring Center. All right. But in case there's a discrepancy, mm -hmm. right? which one do you trust? You want to trust the form that is pinned outside the polling center that was declared in the absence of people and the media and all the observers. That's what you want to trust. The one that has gone through some hacked system, courtesy of uh, infiltration by NASA guys, and uh, I'm, I'm glad we have taken them to court because they, they, they declared in their self-confidence that they obtained some access through their own confidential people within malls, within IBC. <laughs> so they are the hackers, right? But to avoid that hacking, let us create a situation where we are saying that we have the announced results. They've been captured very well within mm -hmm. the Form 34As. Right. The Form 34As, the design, apart in terms of how they get designed, that's up to IBC. What security features they put in them, how they uh, protect them to make sure that you can tell the genuine form from the non-genuine form. That's the mandate of IABC. Right. We don't even want right. to go right. to that through the law. All right. But once you go through that whole process, at the end of uh, when we stand in Bomas, what do we want to see? The result has been announced. And if you doubt it, you can go back to Form 34C. Okay. Then you ask, where did this Form 34C come from? From these 34Bs. Where did this Form 34Bs come from? From these 34As. And where did these 34As come from? From these ballots. All right. it, it's a, there's a paper trail, okay. as, you, as we call it in audit. All right. Right? You know, in the other side, on the, hack, the hacking, the technology, yeah, that, that is good for purposes of enhancing the speed of transmission. Right? But because Kenyans don't trust technology, let's pay for it. It's there, it's within the law, but on this particular occasion, right, where we only have one, one candidate, let, have, uh, let us have a fallback that is sure, that is accurate, that is simple, it's verifiable, it's auditable, hmm. right? right? And that is the manual system. That's why we are saying okay. let it be the prevailing, uh, if, this one, if there's a discrepancy yeah, between the two, yes. the okay. manual system right. shall prevail. 
let me I hear. mean, what else you know, would you know, they want? You know, Amos is, is, all right, let's hear. is talking okay, all the time. All <laughs> talking. But, but you see, there's an issue I raised, a very mm. fundamental issue, mm. which I, uh, I respected my colleague to mm. respond to, but he has conveniently failed to respond to it. Uh, firstly, <clears throat> the matter of uh, the chairperson of the IBC being the sole authority mm. in terms of declaring presidential results. That's what he wants. Uh, that's mm -hmm. listen. Uh, never arose in the Supreme Court ruling okay. or in the entire Supreme Court case. That is one. But two, even if there are valid reasons as to why we need to have more than one person being uh, having the authority to announce the results for presidential elections, mm -hmm. okay, I have stated that you need to go back to the Constitution because the mandate that uh, the IBC chairperson, whoever it is, enjoys mm -hmm. in terms of being the standing officer for presidential elections emanates from the Constitution. So there are no two ways about it. If you want to uh, amend it, if you want to change it, if you want to alter it, amend the Constitution. But you believe not do that because of the obvious reasons. So they have no numbers to amend the Constitution. And, and, and therefore, uh, I don't think it is right to rush through uh, such a very, very critical issue mm -hmm. uh, uh, in this uh, uh, heated moment. Okay, when elections are about three or so weeks, uh, or so weeks away. Okay. Uh, secondly, there's the issue of technology. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised that my colleague uh, uh, believes that uh, we are not as conversant with technology as we should, <laughs> whereas he is aware, very much aware, that this very, very short window, the very, very, very short window that we are given by the Supreme Court mm. for the servers of the IBC to be opened in the course of the trial. That very short window is what actually re revealed the uh, outrageous trans transgressions that were committed by officers in the IBC. And therefore, the issue of servers being hacked is not too fiction. It's a very serious matter. Those of us who are conversant with IT technology will tell you. But more in fundamental, the law as, currently, uh, as, 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 as is currently designed is such that results for elections would have to be transmitted electronically, okay? Yes. But in addition to that, there's a requirement that scanned copies mm -hmm. of the requisite forms, could be 34A, 38, yes. 37, okay, be, be placed in the public portal. Yes. So that as the results are transmitted by the presiding officers, concurrently, the scanned copies of the requisite forms are also put in the portal for the public to verify. Now, mm -hmm. what happened is that, firstly, the IBC never put those scanned copies in the portal they were there. as is required. But even more importantly, more importantly, the law then allowed these forms ultimately to go to Bomas. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what happened? At the end of the process, when the chairperson had declared Uhuru Kenyatta the president, when he asked for those forms, the answer was stunning that the IBC did not have in its possession the requisite forms 34A and 34B. And therefore, and therefore what, what is Jubilee attempting to cure? No, no. By, no let me just make <coughs> my right. point. Just get your time to, to, to respond. Yeah. What is Jubilee attempting to cure? By reverting to pure manual system. Because that's what they're doing, actually, no. in a sense. No. Pure manual. Because if you, say, if you say that when there's a discrepancy, if between, but if or if or when, because you're, you're going to claim no, there's a discrepancy. If anyway. or when there's a discrepancy yeah. between <laughs> the results transmitted electronically mm -hmm. and the results on the requisite forms, then the results on the requisite forms, which appear manually, would prevail. What are you saying? And we know, we, and we know that that forms 34 A's and B's that were later presented in court were actually manufactured at Bumas, because immediately these guys had uh, declared who the president. They had to work backwards mm -hmm. no, no, for no. the numbers to add up. No, and, and therefore, you are creating room for somebody to sit at Bomas and manufacture these forms and use them to declare the results mm. because they will prevail anyway. No, I think so so I what think right. that, that is the mistake I'm facts, talking about. And it's not possible, Let's stick to it's facts. Not possible for us to, to make those such fundamental changes at yeah. the heat of the moment. No. Those are changes that would require serious, serious debate, no. serious, serious discussions, serious, serious dis negotiations. And, and, and therefore, uh, 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 the, the, our position remains, by the way, that uh, this so-called process mm -hmm. of amending the laws, mm -hmm. in fact, the Kenyans who are presenting their views at County Hall are, are wasting their time 
No, no. Let me just They're justify. Their time. Yeah, because the, 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 because the product will not will not will not pass the test of time. But more importantly, in our view, mm. that process at County Hall is a diversionary tactic. It's, it's supposed to divert Kenyans, Kenyan people's attention from the very serious issues we have raised in our memorandum to the IBC. All right. What has been christened the reducible minimum conditions. Which, which, which we agree. Uh, and right. and we, we have we, said we have to wrap up. that I need to regardless, of what, regardless of what transpires at County Hall, mm -hmm. regardless of what else somebody wants to say out there, mm -hmm. if, if our conditions are not addressed adequately, there will be no need for elections. All right. So that is no, what needs to be borne in mind. Yeah. All right. if, if we are All going right. to be Very truthful briefly, to this process, to NASA is saying they want transparency, which we also want. Right? They want as many observers, including international people, to come and, and the media to come and witness the signing of the forms, which we also agree. Right? Now, once those forms have been signed, right, I would have expected NASA to then say, we also want these international observers and all those to accompany these forms to bombers and witness the telling. Right? <laughs> then we'll be foolproof. Forget about servers, forget about all those things. Right? <laughs> Technology can only help. M-Pesa only helps you to send your money faster. Mm -hmm. What happens when M-Pesa goes down? You then have to go to get a courier to send the money, mm -hmm. right? But so you have a manual system alternative if technology fails, right? But both should arrive at the same thing. One is slower, one, one is faster. Mm -hmm. Now, if we are aiming for the same thing, we should not be disagreeing on the amendments. But because NASA, first of all, knows they don't have the numbers. Even where they are thinking is their strongholds, the numbers are people are moving in drones to come back to Jubilee because <laughs> everyone loves a winner, right? All right, Nobody we, we, wants have, to be in a we have to wrap up. We, so so basically, yes. because they know they are going to lose, right? So what is the best alternative they have? Tell people to go to the streets, don't go to appear in a committee, don't go to parliament. Basically say rubbish everything that's good for this country uh, to create diversions so that we can have start riots, we can have... People can start suffering and all that, but yet Kenya must move on. All right. And what I would want to encourage my colleague here mm -hmm. and his colleagues, the, the moment we get a signal that NASA wants to propose its four people into the committee, I am in the House Business Committee, I will be the first one to actually ask the speaker, can we call a special session of parliament so that we now ratify the four representatives of NASA into the committee? All right. Then they can take part within a legal framework. But taking place within the TLRs and T-beams on the street will not lead to anything, I can tell you. All right, your yeah. wrapping thoughts, uh, uh, Betty, Ophio and Betty, 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 you know, that? at the end of the day, every Kenyan has got an equal stake in this country. Mm. Uh, and therefore, this misplaced mm. notion mm. <laughs> that some are more Kenyan than others is, is really not, not, not necessary. Thank you. But more importantly, <laughs> now welcome is, to Kenya. is, is uh, <laughs> the fact that NASA has never lost any election and cannot lose any elections as long as the election is conducted in a credible, transparent, fair manner within the dictates of the Constitution. And that is what you believe, yes, because they know that if the elections are done credibly, they will lose and they fear losing. Mm -hmm. And this time around, we have said, if those solutions cannot be credible, they cannot be there. So that is the point, and that needs to be borne in mind by all Kenyans of Goodwill. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for your time. I've been speaking to Amos Kimunya, who's a Kipipiri member of parliament, together with Opio and I, the Ogunja member of parliament. Gentlemen, uh, <laughs> let's... let's uh, Let's have something different because it's been so heated and I can see some lovely ladies joining us on set. You stay longer. <laughs> <laughs> you are not to stay longer. To stay longer Let's they, cool the, temp the temperatures. We've been having water sanitizers. Help. Oh. Just, 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 yeah, yeah. Just, um, so, Naomi, Karibu, let's just hear what you have to say. Thank you so much. Mm. Uh, I know it's been heated <laughs> and we are so glad that you've always made up time to come to our studios. Mm. And this week being our customer service week, we felt like we need to appreciate you mm -hmm. and to let you know that we, we are glad that you normally come to our shows mm. and you contribute. We also want to thank our viewers out there mm. who've been loyal to viewers, to read our paper, to watch us and also listen to our radio. So we want to say Asante Sana and thank also our viewers. And we are glad. Thank you, Betty, for having us. No, it's, <laughs> it's okay. We needed you ladies to come here and cool the Yes, so okay. we'll, yeah, we'll give you see. some uh, hamper just okay. to appreciate you. All right. So I think maybe we can move to yeah, the side, sure. then we can. And we must start with Come NASA. to the front. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't want them to say we have hacked the system. <laughs> <laughs> we, we right. have in front. Okay. So.
So who do I who do I start with? No, Let me start you, with you. We start Opio. with him. Mandai. Thank, thank you very thank much. Yeah, yeah. Thank I'm you. grateful for the for the handbag. Yeah. And I hope to, to see you more. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you will be. And then Thanks. next, um, yeah, Mr. Imos Kimonya, thank you very much for your time. Always coming on the show to mm. update and uh, give Kenyans different perspectives about the very most important issues to do with this country. Yes. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Okay. And something for you, oh, Betty, I also as well. Get one. <laughs> yes. Thank yes. you. I was, I was going to donate mine. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank, All right. you. thank so you. So much. we will be taking a short commercial break, but we're coming back to continue with our coverage here on New Center. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.